Hey y'all, fuck this week. Right? Goddamn, this week was just 2020 in its prime, man. And the backdrop for the whole thing was, of course, the Republican National Convention. And they were excited about it, too. They talked a lot about how they were going to focus on the positive. You know, they said the Democrats at their convention were too grim and pessimistic, and they weren't going to do that. They were going to be positive at their convention. And then, of course, as soon as the lights come on, all the speakers are just like, the Democrats are going to burn your money and give your mama to a gang. Which, side note, it's always annoyed me how they talk out of both sides of their mouth where liberals are concerned, because they're always saying shit like, liberals are just a bunch of overly sensitive snowflakes who lack the resolve to get any real work done, and then turn right around and be like, they will take your guns and murder the Lord. They said all kinds of shit about liberals this week. The gist of it was, well, if you think this is bad, think how much worse they would probably do. Just a bunch of fucking arsonists standing in the middle of your burned down house like, look, I hear you, but just imagine how gay and full of Mexicans your next house might be. Like, why are we talking about some shit that might happen? What about all the shit that did happen? While they've been in charge, we ain't gonna talk about none of that shit. And they did talk about it, but they were completely full of shit the entire time they were doing so. Because, I mean, to make it sound like they've been doing a good job, you gotta leave out more shit than the Civil War chapter of an Alabama textbook talking about, in the past couple months, we have gained a record number of jobs. Oh, yeah? What happened before that? Did you lose three times as many jobs? How you doing finding those? Anybody check between Bezos' couch cushions? Go fuck yourself. And they're like, if not for our actions, millions of Americans could have died. Okay, but almost 200,000 did die and are still dying. What about that? It's like the Catholic Church saying, hey, 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 what about all the kids we didn't molest, huh? Is nobody going to thank us for that? Donald Trump talking about the swift response his administration had to COVID in front of a crowd of 2,000 tightly packed mouth breathers with no mask on. Like, dog, Gabby fucking Douglas couldn't do the gymnastics required in these people's brains for this shit to make sense. And the one that pisses me off the most, law and order. The party of law and order talking about all the violence in these liberal cities because of the protests, never once mentioning what the protests are for. It's like they woke up hungover and then ate some spinach and threw up and they're like, goddamn liberal spinach made me sick, did it? Was it the spinach or was it because you drank too much and shot another black guy? Stop doing that. Just stop doing that. Shit kills me. They get onto our side for breaking windows or whatever while their side has now started killing people. You got a goddamn 17-year-old Xbox Live vigilante having his mama drop him and his rifle off at a protest so he could shoot some people. I guess with all these schools closed, this motherfucker had to improvise. And a lot of people on the right are supporting this kid. They're like, he was being chased and assaulted. He has a right to defend himself. Get the fuck out of here with that George Zimmerman bullshit. A loser with a hero complex set his mind and his gun on antagonizing a group of people he is terrified of. He succeeded in doing that, couldn't handle the smoke, and resorted to to murder. Fuck him and his mama. And then the goddamn chief of police up there said nobody would have been killed if they hadn't been out after the curfew. Again, why was there a curfew? Because of the protest? Why were there protests? Because you shot a man in the back in front of his children? These motherfuckers are always talking about the symptoms and never the disease. Except, of course, whenever another black man does get shot, they can't wait to dig into what might have caused that shit. Got all these rednecks on social media talking about the shooting of Jacob Blake was justified because he might have had a knife on him. Like every goddamn redneck I've ever known ain't carried a knife in their pocket since second grade. Y'all are so full of shit. You made up your mind that he had it coming as soon as you saw his picture. Law and order my ass. Here's the deal. If you can look at the world around you after a week like this one and think to yourself, yeah, that's good. Let's have some more of this shit then you don't deserve to be bailed out by the rest of us in November. But we're still going to. At least I hope so. I believe so. We have to. Right, because I don't know how many more weeks like this one we can all take. I love y'all. Oh, also there was a fucking hurricane.